Hello YouTube, if you're back another kicking action figure review. Today a review of a figure I have been just waiting for. It is Finn, FN2187, or as I just like to call him, Stormtrooper Finn. <laughs> That's much simpler, That's probably what's in the video title. Although FN2187 will probably be in the description or something. Because that's what's on the package. The package uh, indeed says FN2187. Uh, I'm just going to call him Stormtrooper Finn, though. Because that's simpler for me to remember. But here he is, the figure I've been wanting for a while. I didn't get Jakku Finn because I had uh, Poe Dameron wearing that vest. So I wanted the Finn that goes with that Poe. And now I finally have him. A friend of mine. Uh, who works in retail, who works in shipping in retail. Uh, they got a case of these at their store. He saved me this guy in Django Fett, thank God, or I wouldn't have been able to get him because I haven't seen these guys in the wild at all. Uh, but yeah, I already know he's a good figure <laughs> because I have the regular Stormtrooper uh, from the First Order. I have the Riot Control Stormtrooper from the First Order, and they've really just got the same body pretty much as you can clearly see, so same articulation and stuff, and I just love all that movement that they have. Uh, and I think the head sculpt's done quite well. Also, you guys recently had a close-up look at that. Very cool. I thought he was a great character. Just a wonderful character. Uh, I really... I, <laughs> the Force Awakens was a great movie. So what? It took a lot from uh, the first Star Wars movie. You know, who cares, right? It did a lot different, too. It had a lot of its own original stuff. Uh, and a meaningful character death. You don't see a lot of those anymore now, do you? But yeah, look at this guy. He is dope. Dopeness. Much dopeness. Very dank. Very dank in deedily. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to talk about articulation real, real quick. Head goes up. Head goes down. Head goes side to the side. Arm comes up. Arm goes down. Forward and back. You have the bicep rotation, not really bicep, uh, more elbow, in and out, you know, like that. You have rotation on his hands, you have forward and back on the wrists there, just like that, you know, pretty dece. You got all this different movement in the torso, very awesome. Uh, in and out on the legs, forward and back on the legs, you have a thigh swivel. You have a double knee bend, which is very nice. Uh, sculpted joints and everything too, which is double nice. Up and down on the foot, and also an ankle pivot, peg holes, etc. So yeah, that's very, very great. And uh, the figure himself, I already mentioned I like the head sculpt. I think it's done quite well. The body, once again, also done quite well. Painted well. I love the nice clean white. Not all of them is clean white, though, uh, honestly. Yeah, because now we're going to talk about accessories, and his first and main accessory would be his Stormtrooper helmet, which has, you know, the bloody hand on it from the beginning of the movie when one of his friends died. Let's just, ooh, oh, this is a tight fit, isn't it? <laughs> okay, that's not so bad, actually. So yeah, there he is with the helmet. It actually fits pretty well. It sits on there real nice. Looks real uh, organic, real smooth. Very nice, very, very nice. Very nice look. Uh, wow, yeah. Good job. Uh, and he also comes with these two weapons, just their standard blaster and one I like to call the Cricket, Men in Black Yo. Could you believe that Men in Black 21 Jump Street thing that's going to happen? But yeah, these peg onto the leg here, so whichever one he's not holding, he can have pegged onto the side. They both stay on here pretty well. Uh, I was displaying this on my right control Stormtrooper just like that until recently, and that was the first Black Series. Uh, well, one of the first I bought, the first one I bought was Kylo Ren, but yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good. That, that's, they, they stay on pretty well, uh, for my, my experience says so. And as far as holding the weapons go, perfect, which I knew it would be, and perfect, also knew it would be. So yeah, all three of his accessories work really, really well on him. <laughs> I'll probably display him without the helmet because I really like Finn as Finn here. Uh, I want my Finn to be Finn post-realization. I mean, after that's on his face, he's already post-realization, but you, you still know what I mean. Uh, what a beautiful scene that was. Oh, God, I, I might go out tomorrow and get this movie. 
I'm filming this way before it's being uploaded, of course, but still, I, I need to go get this movie. Ooh. I loved this movie. I've seen it twice already. Uh, once with the guy that got me this, Jimmy Day 93 check out his channel. But, yeah, so now I'm about getting some size comparisons. So here you see some other Force Awakens six inch figures from the Hasbro Black series. Here on the left we have old Han Solo, and here on the right we have his former boss, Kylo Ren. Now here you see with his predecessors from the good old Imperial days. Here on the left we have the Walmart exclusive Battlefront Imperial Shock Trooper, one of his fellow trooper companions. And here on the right we have Darth Vader. Now he is with a prequel figure on the left, Jango Fett, and I didn't have any other prequel figures to show him with, so how about a figure that works for prequel and Force Awakens, even though this is specifically the Force Awakens version of Chewbacca here on the right. So all in all, what are my final thoughts on the Star Wars Black Series Force Awakens Finn Stormtrooper, or Finn FN 2187 Akashon Figior from Hasbro? He's very cool. I very much love him. Glad to have this trooper body again in my collection. Glad to finally have Finn. Oh, I'm so happy to finally have Finn. I've passed up Jakku Finn a thousand times because I was like, no, 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 I have to have this specific Finn for my collection. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably display him uh, with just that blaster, uh, but without helmet is probably the path I'm going to take on this guy. But uh, yeah, you know, I just, I love like the poses and stuff you can get out of these figures. If you want to see lots of my pictures and stuff, you can either follow us on Facebook at B3 Productions, uh, check out my action figure collecting Facebook page, or you can subscribe to my Super Friends Benefits channel where, because I take photos throughout these reviews of the figures in different poses and stuff. And all of those are uploaded in video format onto my Super Friends Benefits channel. So go to Super Friends Benefits and subscribe. Plus there's lots of cool gaming content there for you guys as well. But yeah, you know, that's it for this figure. Great figure. Absolutely love it. Glad to finally have it in my collection. So that's it, you guys. Thank you all very much. Please remember to write, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all very much for your support. I can't say that enough. Uh, but yeah, so now we're going to kind of move on into some stuff. Um... Perhaps some Power Ranger reviews, maybe? I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Life is meaningless. But that's it, you guys. Thank you all once again for your support, and I'll see you all later.